Hi, today I'm gonna walk you through how to pair your D2L course shell to your Pearson MyLab or Modified Mastering course. First, we're gonna log into D2L and navigate to the course that we want to pair. From here, we are gonna look for the Pearson MyLab and Mastering course links widget on our course homepage. If you do not see this widget, you'll need to contact your LMS admin, Autumn Schaefer, and she can have it added to your homepage. So once we've been able to find or add the Pearson widget to our homepage, we are going to click into this widget. If you click and nothing's happening, you may need to disable your pop-up blocker in your browser. So again, if you're clicking the widget or if you see an error message from the widget, please disable your pop-up blocker. From here, you'll see welcome, create or copy a MyLab or modified mastering course. We're gonna click get started. The first step in this is actually pairing your D2L account with your existing Pearson account. So this is our Pearson privacy agreement and you will click I accept. You will only have to do this once in the process since again, we are going to pair your D2L and your Pearson account for a single sign-on experience. So here's where we are going to sign in with our existing Pearson account. If you do not have an existing Pearson account as an instructor, you will need to contact your sales rep, Christine Pickett, to have an account created for you. So once you've done that, you should get the screen that says, congratulations, your accounts are now linked. Again, you should only have to do this once. So we can exit out of this tab and now go back to our create or copy a MyLab or modified mastering course screen and click get started. From here, it will take me to the course manage screen where I can create a course from scratch or copy an existing course from my account. So if you want to create a new course that you have not already created in your Pearson account, you can search here by author or ISBN to find that course. Or if you are just wanting to link a copy of an existing course, click on select from my existing course list. Here's where you should see a list of all of the courses that you have created in your account and you will select the course that you want to pair with D2L. Okay, this is gonna be your course settings. We wanna make sure that we are creating this for student use so students can enroll. And here's where we will give this a course name. All right, the course dates are very important with D2L pairing. You actually want to start it on the day that you will be linking it. So the day that you're watching this video and creating the course is the day that you will want to start as your course date. And then the end date will be the last day of the semester. And then we're gonna click create course. So from here, we're gonna give it a few minutes to populate on the Pearson side and create the linked course from D2L. Once you receive your course confirmation email from Pearson, that means that your course has been created and your D2L and Pearson course linking has been established. So now that that has been established, we can go back to our Pearson widget on our home screen. And once we click that, we should now see um, a direct link to our Pearson course. See here, this is my book. And here are my instructor tools as shortcuts to the instructor navigation for your MyLab or Modified Mastering course. And here's where your students will be able to access their links through the widget as well. So if I click Open MyLab and Mastering, it will take me to my Pearson MyLab or Mastering course home where I can navigate my MyLab or Mastering course as I normally would. Go to the assignment manager and here's where you can update all of the dates for your established assignments. Again, this is how you originally pair your D2L and MyLab or Mastering course. 